Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Monday evening, February 20th, 2023. This service is part of the online prayer ministry of Christ Church Cathedral, Newcastle. My name is Catherine Bowyer. I'm the Dean of Newcastle. I acknowledge that St Peter's Hamilton, which is part of the parish, stands on a Wobbicle land and Christ Church Cathedral and the Deanery where I'm recording this service are on a Wobbicle and Warramai land. I acknowledge that this land was taken and never ceded. I pay my respects to Awabakal and Warramai elders, past and present, and pray that I, with the Cathedral and St Peter's communities, may remain committed in our journey of Makarata, of walking gently upon these lands, of listening with humility, repenting of sins of past and present, And working together, listening to the wisdom of the elders, that we may care for all that God has entrusted to us in the good gifts of creation. Monday evening prayer is found on page 393 of the prayer book. Today the church gives thanks for the witness of William Grant Broughton, first bishop, first and only bishop of Australia, and first bishop of the Diocese of Sydney. You can read more about William Grant Broughton online and when you visit Christchurch Cathedral, Newcastle, you can see a window in his memory. We pray for all those who leave familiar places by the urging of the Spirit to tell the good news of God made known to us in Christ Jesus. And it is in the name of that same one true God, made known to us as the creator, the redeemer and the sanctifier of the world, in whose name we pray. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, A Song of Hope. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. The Lord has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty for the captives and release for those in prison, to comfort all who mourn, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a garment of splendour for the heavy heart. They shall be called trees of righteousness, planted for the glory of the Lord. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness, from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our Psalms for this evening are Psalms 116 and 117, found on page 346 of the prayer book. Psalms 116 and 117, found on page 346. Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he heard my voice, the voice of my supplication, because he inclined his ear to me in the day that I called to him. The cords of death encompass me, the snares of the grave took hold on me. I was in anguish and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech you, deliver me. Gracious and righteous is the Lord. Full of compassion is our God. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest. For the Lord has rewarded you. For you, O Lord, have delivered my soul from death. 
my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed that I would perish. I was brought very low. I said in my haste, everyone is a liar. How shall I repay the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Grievous in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant, your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have unloosed my bonds. I will offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, even in your midst, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Psalm 117. O praise the Lord, all you nations. O praise him, all you peoples. For great is his loving kindness toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures for ever. Praise the Lord. God, who wonderfully created us, and even more wonderfully restored our humanity, strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to triumph over suffering and death, and grant us eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading is from the letter of Jude, beginning at the first verse. Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are called, who are beloved in God the Father and kept safe for Jesus Christ, may mercy, peace and love be yours in abundance. Beloved, while eagerly preparing to write to you, about the salvation we share, I find it necessary to write an appeal to you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to the saints. For certain intruders have stolen in among you, people who long ago were designated for this condemnation as ungodly, who pervert the grace of our God into licentiousness and deny our only Master and Lord, Jesus Christ. Now I desire to remind you though, now I desire to remind you, though you are fully informed, that the Lord, who once for all saved a people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. And the angels who did not keep their own position, but left their proper dwelling, he has kept in eternal chains in deepest darkness for the judgment of the great day. Likewise, Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, which in the same manner as they, indulged in sexual immorality and pursued unnatural lust, serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. Yet in the same way, these dreamers also defile the flesh, reject authority and slander the glorious ones. But when the archangel Michael contended with the devil and disputed about the body of Moses, he did not dare to bring a condemnation of slander against him, but said, the Lord rebuke you. But these people slander whatever they do not understand, and they are destroyed by those things that, like irrational animals, they know by instinct. Woe to them! For they go the way of Cain, and abandon themselves to Balaam's error, for the sake of gain, and perish in Korah's rebellion. These are blemishes on your love feasts, while they feast with you without fear, feeding themselves. They are waterless clouds, carried along by the winds, autumn trees without fruit, twice dead, uprooted, wild waves of the sea, casting up the foam of their own shame, wandering stars, for whom the deepest darkness has been reserved forever. It was about these that Enoch, in the seventh generation from Adam, prophesied, saying, See, the Lord is coming with ten thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment on all and to convict everyone of all the deeds of ungodliness that they have committed in such an ungodly way and of all the harsh things that ungodly sinners 
have spoken against him. These are grumblers and malcontents. They indulge their own lusts. They are bombastic in speech, flattering people to their own advantage. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle, a song of God's children. In Christ Jesus, the life-giving law of the Spirit has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. It is the Spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit bears witness that we are God's children, and if God's children, then heirs of God. We are heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. If we share his sufferings now, we shall be glorified with him hereafter. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing with the glory that shall be revealed. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. This morning we prayed the collect for use in these days leading up to Ash Wednesday. Tonight, a collect for William Grant Broughton. O God, our Heavenly Father, who raised up your faithful servant, William Grant Broughton, to be a bishop in your church and to feed your flock, give abundantly to our bishops and other pastors the gifts of your Holy Spirit, so that they may minister in your household as true servants of Christ and stewards of your holy mysteries. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. As we come to the close of this day, we give thanks for all that this day has held. We give thanks for unexpected moments of grace. We pray for those moments which have caused us to catch our breath, find ourselves lost for words. We pray for those things that have troubled us this day. We give thanks for love, which has enfolded us this day. The response at the end of each section of these prayers by Chris Polhill is, and all creation praise you. Creator God, thank you for making so much for trees, stones and plants, for their beauty and the life they give. Bless us as we use them to make and build. Help us to treasure these gifts of your providing, that we may live gently on earth. And all creation praise you. Creator God, thank you for life-giving food, for animals and fish, grain and plants, for their beauty and the life they give. Bless our care and use of them, Help us to eat thankfully and with due humility, that we may live gently on earth 
and all creation praise you. Creator God, thank you for people, for all their differences, their inventiveness, and the ways they have fun. Bless those who live in poverty and fear. Help us to value each other, that we may live gently on earth. And all creation praise you. Creator God, thank you for the choices we have, the freedom we know, the joys we experience, the purpose you give us. Bless all our living on this planet you created. Help us to be informed and to choose wisely, that we may live gently on earth, and all creation praise you. And because we get confused about the best way to live gently on earth, and because we are caught in systems that take a long time to change, and because we cling to our way of life and find it hard to change, thank you for trusting us. Thank you for Jesus beside us. Thank you for the Holy Spirit giving us wisdom and strength. Help us to listen to you, that we may live gently on earth, and all creation praise you. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Amen. <laughs> 